Hey guys, I wanted to do a little review for you on my power blocks. Uh, I had had a review up previously that I did on my power block Sport 9.0 model, and I actually traded that model in for these, which are the Sport 5.5 model. Um, before I get into the, the reason for the switch, I do want to just go over a couple basics again on how power blocks work in case you haven't seen it before, and I'll try to go over it pretty quickly for those people who have had a chance to see it. So basically what, you, what you've got on power blocks is, I don't know if you can see, but um, a series of color-coded bars here on the side, and the bars correspond to a weight which are listed right here on the top of each block. And then what you've got is um, a pin that pulls out, and you just place it underneath this, the uh, respective weight that you'd like to pick up. So right here it says white equals 20 pounds. So if I put this pin under the white bar, then when I pick this up, that's 20 pounds. Okay? What you'll see is all the other plates are left behind. We picked up a couple plates here, and this whole thing is 20 pounds. So it's pretty simple how it works in basic. It's kind of like a, a weight stack at the gym where you just move the pin around. And it's real, it makes it real easy to do uh, weight, swi weight switches. If I wanted to go up to 15 pounds, I just go like that. And within about three seconds, I'm at 15 pounds. Okay, so really cool principle. Just a side note here on this pin, I mentioned this in my other video, but the pin has some magnets um, in here, which help it to stay connected here. And the other thing is, it's a little bit tri tripped out right now, but the other thing is it's got these little elastic cords here so that you can't actually pull the pin all the way out. So right now, it's actually still engaged unless I physically pull the pin out. Um, those are just a couple safety mechanisms for those of you who maybe haven't used these before are wondering, you know, is it secure to do overhead tricep extensions or something like that? And I've never had any problem. It does, you know, if, if I put 20 pounds on here or something, there is a little bit of, there's a little bit of like rattling if I shake it around a lot, but I would say less rattling on, on these than typical interchangeable weights I've used at home in the past. My old dumbbell set, which is laying around here somewhere. Okay, so that's the basic principle. One thing about the 5.5s is that they have the handle that has these little adder weights inside. These are 2.5 pounds each. And what it allows me to do is add or subtract one or both, one or both of these and get 2.5 pound increments. So this way I can get... Um, I'll take these out. This is five pounds. This would be seven point five pounds. This would be ten pounds. And I lock them in with this little switch on top, so now they don't fall back out. Um, and then you know I can actually take one out in between exercises if I want to get those two and a half pound increments, which is really nice. Sometimes five pounds is a lot to, um, on some of the harder exercises. Um, so that's how these things work. Um, now, the reason I switched from the Sport 9.0 to the 5.5, this is important because the reason I bought these in the first place were for P90X. And let me tell anybody that's doing P90X right now, don't get the 9.0s for P90X. The Sport 9.0s are not a good choice if you're doing P90X. They're a great choice if you're doing bodybuilding at home, but they're not a good choice for P90X simply because they take far, far too long to change weight increments. So some of the routines in P90X have like 20, 24 different exercises um, that you're using the dumbbells for. And a lot of those are gonna need to change the weights in between um, many exercises. And with the 9.0, um, and you can check my other video for additional details, but the, the weight increments made it so that you couldn't change five pound increments without taking out the handle and changing around the outer weights. So every time I wanted to change within five pounds, I'd have to do this, and take one of these, and then put this in, and you know, on both sides, which it's fine if you, you know, if you really need the two and a half pounds, but I'd prefer not to use that if I don't have to. Um, and with the 9.0, you had to use that feature every time you wanted to switch in five pound increments, which I didn't like at all, and it made it really hard to keep up um, with the P90X routine. So I found I was pausing the workout a lot to try to get my weights to keep up. So it kind of defeated the purpose. Um, so the 5.5s have 
2.5 pound increments all the way between 5 and 55 pounds and I figured I would never use more than 55 pounds in my home gym anyway because if I need more than 55 pounds I probably need a bench and probably within, within any home workout routines that I might be doing such as P90X 55 pounds is going to be more than enough. I figure if Tony Horton's not using more than 55 pounds then I don't need more than 55 pounds either. So that's the reason for this. One thing I will say about the power blocks is I would recommend getting the tray or the stand, the, 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 which is the tray on top of a pedestal, um, because they do work a lot better on a hard surface, um, and I would prefer not to use them on like a wood floor or tile, because if, you know, if you drop them for some reason, that would mess your floor up pretty bad. So I did, I did get the stand, which was an extra 30 bucks. Um, okay, so that said, these Adjustable dumbbells, I would say, are the best adjustable dumbbells you could get. I wanted to make sure I mentioned this because the adjustable dumbbells that come to mind when most people think of adjustable dumbbells are the Selectex by Bowflex. And if you've ever seen the Bowflex Selectex, there's a lot of advantages, or sorry, a lot of disadvantages to using them. The, the biggest one that I see is that they're, I think, 16 inches wide, which is, I don't know, like that wide. And that's whether you're picking up um, 55 pounds or 5 pounds because the, the unit, the handle unit itself is always the same width um, which is ridiculous because if you're picking up 5 pounds and suddenly you've got 32 inches um, of handle that you're trying to maneuver and it makes it kind of sloppy. It's not really well thought out. With, with these you don't pick up anything that you don't need. So you get the handle which is as, as small as it needs to be and then the more weight you add then your weight expands and gets wider. So that's really nice about these. The other thing is quick, quick weight changes is important. Um, none of the other weights on the market that I've seen have weight changes as quick. With the Selectex, you have dials on each side, and sometimes you'll have to click, and then click, and then click. And it's not bad. It's not slow, per se, but with this, it's like boom, boom, and it's done. It's just like it's a two-second move no matter which weight you want. Um, and then... There's, there's some other dumbbells that use a, a spring-loaded pin, and then there's some that use a little dial as well. And I find that, you know, this is a little bit archaic in technology in comparison, but I also think it's the best one that I've seen in terms of getting your weight changed quickly and consistently. So overall, I really recommend the Sport 5.5s. If you wanted to save a little bit money and weren't interested in the 2.5 pound increments, then you could get the Sport 5.0s. You save about 60 bucks, I think, if you do that. But um, either model, you can't go wrong. I'd say if you're doing P90X or any kind of home workout that's not bodybuilding, you definitely want to go with the power blocks. It's, it's worth the money. I'm going to have these for the rest of my life, and I really think they're designed a lot better than the other uh, comparable sets on the market. So hopefully this helped. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer it. And... Um, Read the full written review on the website.